advocates of the Second Amendment have come to expect that appointees of President Barack Obama would be hostile to the rights of gun owners. But the president's nominee for legal advisor to the State Department reaches a whole new level of anti-gun extremism. Harold Coe, former dean of international law at Yale University, is Obama's nominee to be the top legal advisor for the State Department. Coe, who served at State during the Clinton administration, is a self-described transnationalist who believes that our laws, and our constitution for that matter, should be brought into conformity with international agreements. Sovereignty, and I say, if you want to be in the global uh, environment, you have to play by the global rules. Coe's positions treat our constitutional law as if it were a mere local ordinance in the greater world stage. This is of particular concern to gun owners at a time when the U.S. Congress is under pressure from President Obama to ratify an international gun treaty with countries in the Western Hemisphere. That treaty, known by its Spanish acronym SIFTA, would likely serve as a forerunner to a more extensive United Nations small arms treaty. The Bush administration, under the leadership of UN Ambassador John Bolton, rejected the small arms treaty. Bolton plainly told the world that the United States will not accept a gun control document that violates our constitutional rights to bear arms. Coe said that Bolton was being needlessly provocative. In a paper entitled, A World Drowning in Guns, Coe maintains that a civil society cannot exist with broad gun ownership. Guns kill civil society, he says. Harold Coe believes that the mere presence of lawless gangs in countries like Afghanistan and Kosovo and Somalia is proof that guns are the cause of all their problems, overlooking the fact that these countries have been violent for a long time before guns were ever invented. What he should do is take a look over his own shoulder. Look at Washington, D.C. Look at Chicago. Guns are virtually banned there, and those are among our most violent jurisdictions in the United States. Why should it surprise us, then, that these countries abroad where guns are also banned from the common man's hand are places where the average guy, the one who's disarmed, is the one who suffers at the hands of thugs and terrorists and other undesirable types. Coe is eager to assume his post at the State Department, having lamented that there is only so much that can be done from the outside to push gun control treaties, and that ultimately we need people like him in positions of power. With Democrats firmly in control of the Senate, Coe is expected to be confirmed sometime in May. Gun Owners of America has notified all senators that a vote for Coe is a vote against the right to keep and bear arms. To learn more about Harold Coe, visit gunowners.org.